Hi, I'm Estelle and I've been a primary school principal with the New South Wales Department of Education for over 10 years. Throughout my time in this position, I've convened a number of merit selection panels. And given the new guidelines that have been developed in consultation with the New South Wales Teachers Federation, I wanted to share some advice on how to write a successful application. The features of a great application that I've observed uh, include being um, very uh, erudite with your language, really succinct with the words, uh, describing in a really authentic um, and valid way uh, what it is that you've achieved and been a part of uh, in the roles that you've held. There's always a number of people who can undertake the roles that we have in education. Uh, I think that what stands out in applications is a person's characteristics, their qualities, their communication skills, of course, are really what's most evident. How uh, competently they communicate in the written form around uh, their passions, their moral purpose, the things that matter most to them, and then the work that they've done and the things that they've learned. There's a real temptation when we write applications to provide a list, uh, some kind of menu of everything we've ever done, of every skill that we have, of every experience that we could um, contribute to a school setting. What's really important is to understand that it's only the work that we've been doing most recently that will be of most use and value to a panel. Um, all panels understand that we're more than the written words on the page, um, but what they really value is when an applicant can actually clearly align themselves with the criteria and spell out why most recently they have some skills and capacities that would add value to the setting that they're applying for. I think what's really most important um, when you're determining what to include in your application is to have a strong understanding of the site that you're applying for, that school's context, that school's needs. If you're able to align your skill set, your capacities, your passions with the needs uh, and the context of the school, that shines through really strongly in an application and makes an application and an applicant very attractive. Well, I think we instantly stop reading applications as panel members when uh, there are grammatical errors, when they haven't been edited, when their claims are uh, unsubstantiated or where they're not impractical, improbable to um, achieve. Uh, we don't read applications that are repetitive, uh, that state the same things, or when the skills and qualities that they outline don't relate to the school context and the criteria that's been established. At our school, we're always looking for um, applicants who are student-centred. Um, when there's a real um, illustration of their understanding of students and the complexities of education, when they represent their commitment to ongoing uh, and continual improvement, um, that really resonates with us. That's the kind of person we're looking for.